Okay. Hi, Kitty. So great to see you again. How are you? And welcome back to Toronto. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to be here. It's my third time. So I feel like I'm getting the lay of the land. I was going to say, you need a condo. Maybe you should just, you know, get a place here, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. I, I like that idea. Well, congratulations. Another amazing film. And I got to tell you, I mean, when I first saw The Assistant, I thought that one scared me. This one terrified me. Oh my goodness. I, I can't even like two girls going off to this place. Are they mental? Like what's going on here? I have to know what the inspiration was for you to, to bring this one uh, to the screen and to write it. I, I just, wow, it blew my mind. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm Australian and I have never made a film in Australia, weirdly. So I made all my movies elsewhere. And my mother was always like, you have to make a movie in Australia, darling. I think mostly so I could visit more often. So I think that was the main inspiration. And then I was I saw a documentary about two Scandinavian girls who were working in an outback pub. And it's an often a common thing in Australia that backpackers, when they need to stay, want to stay a little longer, they take a job, they either bear, pick berries or they work in a pub somewhere. And yeah. often they're sent into the middle of nowhere because that's where they need the work, basically workers essentially. So yeah, the documentary followed these two Scandinavians who didn't understand the culture or trying to make sense of it. And it made, it kind of worked on a few, I felt like it was something that I was interested in like thematically but also I felt like it was a good role for Julia Garner who I'd worked with before so it kind of all came together quite well actually yeah but you know even in the beginning of the film we're watching it when they're looking for this job you know they're traveling I get it they're young they want to look I backpacked through Europe many moons ago and I did do some I did some pretty not not that crazy but so you know some things where I look back and go how can I do that? Like, yeah. honestly, right? You just don't think you're, you're, yeah. just, you're in the moment. You're having a good time. You're young. You think you're invincible. But yeah. even when they're given this job, they're, they're clearly told you're going to have to put up with some guys who might be, you know, giving you a little bit more attention. And you've got the one character, Hannah, who's like, and then the other one who played by the amazing Jessica Hardwick too. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. No problem. I mean, what would you do in that situation? Kitty? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, it's interesting. I'm Australian, so it's not as scary for me as it is. For, I think foreigners find it a little scarier than it is for us Australians. It's sort of a place where outback pubs are kind of, you know, there's a, it's not immediately scary I think, for Australians. It takes a little okay. while for Australians to be freaked out. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like I've done a lot of that backpacking stuff. You're right. And I did some silly things and we drank a lot and, you know, we we're a little crazy. So I, I kind of know what that's like. And um, but yeah, the girls are just I think they're trying to figure out, you know, they arrive. It's a little they're a little uncomfortable, but they're um, Jessica Henwick, who plays Liv, is trying to like make the best of it and trying to like, right. you know, try to get like learn about the culture and be accepting of the people. And Je and Julia's character is a little more you know, a little more cautious, I guess, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Is this guy okay? You know, she's always sort of assessing her environment, um, essentially. So they take yeah. different approaches to it. Well, yeah, and it's good to have that that contradiction. You have to have, you know, one who's kind of scared, the other one who's a little bit more outgoing. Because when you're when you are traveling with friends, it's kind of like how it is, I think, mostly, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and the two girls, I mean, look, you've worked uh, Julia, we know, is like just oh my god, she's just amazing in whatever she does. Give her a phone book, read it. She'd win an Oscar. Like she's so fantastic. The two of them together, the chemistry is just so good. Uh, I think they worked so well together. Was that instant? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was instant. On when I met Jess, I, I had a Zoom with her because I was a little. I'd seen her stuff, and I, she's very. Um, she's done a lot of like action. She's very uh, like in her role. She's very serious almost. I hadn't seen her Glass Onion role, which is a little more wacky but I'd seen yeah. a lot of her kind of more serious work and I was thinking is she you know weird enough for us I guess and as soon as I met her on zoom I was like oh she fits in she just has the right spirit and the right kind of energy and I knew it would work really well so it took a few minutes for me to kind of almost immediately I thought oh she has the role she's perfect so yeah, yeah. And that worked really well so yeah yeah and finding the the uh the male actors as well because they have to be you know intimidating and, and somebody like Hugo Weaving, who at first I didn't even recognize him because, you know, he doesn't usually play these kinds of characters, um, mm. but I'm sure you didn't have to twist his arm to get involved. Oh, I did a little bit. I think I had to, you know, I think he was a bit, you know, because I'm sort of, 
you know, he's been around forever and I'm like this up and comer. So <laughs> I think he was like, I, we, we got him to watch the assistant. I wrote him like a lovely letter. We sort of explained what it was about and, you know, um, yeah, we had a big lot of conversations about the role and the character and yeah. And he eventually agreed to do it, which was great. He, we wanted him not just cause he's a brilliant actor, but also we wanted a, a guy, a good guy, <laughs> someone that the, all the crew could look up to and all the other cast, like he sort of is yeah. the captain of the ship in a lot of ways. So it was important to us that it was someone as wonderful as Hugo Weaving. Yeah, and finding that location too, was that something that was easy to find? Because again, it is so desolate and out there. Um, that was, that obviously was a, a character of, in the film, clearly. Yeah, I mean, that was the first place we went to, weirdly, because um, it's an abandoned pub on the side of the road that goes to where all the pubs are. So we sort of passed it and it was abandoned. We, and we were able to kind of convince the owner. It's a town of 29 people. So we wow. were able to convince the town that we wanted to sort of take over for a few weeks and they they let us, which was great. So it really worked out quite perfectly. Although it was really far from everywhere and it was quite hard actually for everyone. Yeah, but I can imagine you, you pretty much doubled the population, if not more. Oh, definitely more, more than double. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what I love about your, your films, it really does make us look at um, like, like, you know, bad guys are showcased in your films. There's no question about it and how women get preyed on in different ways in society. What is it about that, that theme Kitty that really makes you, you know, makes you either your blood boil or you just want to get that word out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just, I think I just write about my own sort of life experiences and somehow they end up horror movies. You know what I mean? Like it's sort of just being a woman in the world is just difficult. You know what I mean? And that's sort of what my movies are about. It's like how, you know, how, how it's often you feel uncomfortable. Well, there's sort of spaces that make you feel uncomfortable and, but you're unsure, especially with this film. It's like, at, I'm unsure if I'm safe or not. I feel like maybe it's okay, but I'm, I'm unsure and I'm a little scared. And, you know, it's sort of about that awkward kind of area kind of confusing kind of I don't know air, like area or situation where you're not sure exactly whether to stand up for yourself or, to, or if you're just being paranoid or what's going on you know so it was sort of about that kind of ambiguity of that yeah yeah I'm wondering with the girls too um obviously you, you presented them with a great script but how much did you let them kind of go with it on their own to kind of create these two women who have that different feeling of what's going to be going on at this royal hotel i don't know it's a weird one you give them the script and then they you know embody these people and kind of bring to them their own sort of you know spirits or whatever they bring their own thing to it and yeah i don't know it's interesting it's sort of like i just watched jess naturally just take over that bar and run run it and feel comfortable in it and look comfortable in it and enjoy everyone's com attention and company and that was really wonderful to see her do that and Julia naturally was a little more cautious and you know so I mean how much of that was the characters how much of it was their own personalities I'll, I'll never know but yeah 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 they were they were both so fantastic I have to say you know back in the day way way long ago I used to work in a video store for many many years and I would always recommend Australian films because they were always my favorite ones you know like from Breaker Moran to like I mean just so many great movies I want to know what is in the water over there that you guys give us such great films <laughs> I don't know but I think visually it's a really I mean I mean Canada is similar but it's a really interesting country visually like we have just a lot of the landscape is really it's unique you know and it doesn't it has its own look so I think it, it sort of is very easy to photograph or film you know so in that way it's like we just put it's also just a strange place you know there's a lot of strange characters so it's sort of it's very easy to drum up some some tension I guess yeah yeah well you do it really well with with what all the all the films you've given us so far I really really do appreciate your time today Kitty and maybe about a comedy now lighten lighten it up for yeah, yourself let's lighten it up sounds good I'll, I'll yeah, give okay. you a note. We'll, all we'll, right we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully see you at next tip but best of luck with this film it's it really is great you've done a wonderful job and thank, thank you for your time I really appreciate that today thank, thank you. you so much see you later. okay bye-bye